Another element of Windows Explorer or Exploring Windows in any folders up here at the top, it's the command bar. Come over here to the left hand side and click on the Organize drop down arrow. That should be available in every folder. And then down below, you can go ahead and change the layout. Now by default, the layout of most folders includes the detail pane, the navigation pane, and you don't see the preview pane or the menu bar. If you want to go ahead and see the preview, click on it. And over to the right, it opens up a little pane that anything you select of a file over here in the view, like product meeting, gives us a preview before we actually double click and open it up. That way we can quickly toggle around here and be able to get a sneak peek or a synopsis of what's within these files before I actually open them up. If I like what I see, then of course I'll open them up and do more research. So there's the preview pane, and you'll notice that other elements along the command bar up at the top change depending upon what file or folder that you have selected, well, within my exercises folder here for this example. Come up here, click on the organize, go back down to layout, and I can uncheck the uh, preview pane. Click on organize, go back down to layout, and let's have the menu bar. When I click on that, there's the menu bar that I can go ahead and click on the file, gives me a menu, edit, view, tools, help, and so on. And that's always there unless, of course, I go ahead and remove it by going back up under organize down to layout and unchecking menu bar. To bring it up temporarily, of course, you can just hit the alt key, and there it is temporarily that when I click off in a blank area, it collapses or hit alt. Click on tools, for example, come down here and click on one of the options in the menu. The moment you execute an option, well, it brings up the option, but it collapses or hides the menu. Okay, let me close out of that window. So you get the Organize button on the command bar. These are a bunch of commands. When you click on it, it will obey your command, like create a new folder, click on it. There's the new folder. Go ahead and type in a name, a spiffy name when you're done. Go ahead and hit Enter, and it accepts the name. I don't want that, so I can hit the Alt key to bring up my menu, click on Edit, and say Undo Rename and it gives me the generic, or I'm going to go ahead and right click and left click on delete to get rid of it. Okay, let me click off in a blank area. You can include this folder in the library. You can also burn the contents within the folder here. You can actually select the contents of what you want to burn. If you don't want to burn everything within the exercises folder, just go ahead and hold down the control key and click on each file until I got, looks like about four selected. You can see down the details pane, four items are selected. Go ahead and click burn. Just make sure that you have a DVD burner or CD burner. That will take this and burn it to the CD. So you can go ahead and share it with everybody else. I'm going to click off in a blank area. And then over to the far right, you've got the uh, change your view. If you click on the button, it starts toggling through different views, okay? But if you want to go to a specific view, click on its corresponding arrow, and there's the list. Click on the drop down arrow. The details view is the only view that gives you these column headers as we discussed in an earlier training video on the element of the file list view. Again, list of files here. So if you want those headers to be able to sort ascending, descending, or with a simple click here, or be able to click and filter some of the options, like all the names that begin with A through H, there you go. In any case, that's what that's for, is the more options. And then over to the right there, you have Show Preview Pane. You don't have to go through the Organize down to Layout to be able to check it. Just come over here and click on it to hide it or add it. Then, of course, you have your little Help here if you need more information. You can either click on that or just hit the F1 key on the keyboard, and it brings up also the Windows Help and Support. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.